By the end of this video, you'll have a deeper understanding of the key differences, advantages, and disadvantages in Elementor versus Divi, and you'll be able to confidently pick your builder. First, let's take a look at Elementor versus Divi in terms of how easy they are to get started with. For the most part, beginners and professionals can both get along just fine in Elementor after spending a few hours getting familiar with it. It could do better by including some more helpful and convenient pre-built elements. Here are a few of the most notable missing elements that I found. A dedicated element for building headers. You can build headers in Elementor using containers, but effects like sticky and overlay headers have to be manually added and sometimes require code snippets. The Elementor menu builder is still in beta. It would be great if they had a production-ready menu builder that wasn't tied to the clunky WordPress menu system, but for now, you have to enable a beta feature to get access to that. There are quite a few more that are missing, like tooltips, maskers, and code blocks. Other modern builders like Breakdance, for example, come with these types of elements built in. Divi is not usually considered one of the more user-friendly options when it comes to visual site builders. Here, you'll find a more dated approach to page builder interfaces, which includes floating panels and buttons that kind of appear and disappear depending on what your mouse cursor is hovered over. But just like Elementor, it's missing a few key elements like the header builder and menu builder that we talked about with Elementor. The menu element it does include is tied to WordPress's built-in menu system as well, which is fairly clunky. It's also missing some time saver elements like an automated table of contents and an element for showing Lottie animations. Beyond that, it doesn't include a way to build fully custom post loops, which is a huge setback if you're building a site that needs to display posts in a more unique manner. Now let's take a closer look at the built-in elements included with Elementor versus Divi. Elementor has 145 built-in elements or widgets if you include the large number of WordPress widgets included in the elements list. The elements are fairly robust with plenty of customization options, but they're generally not going to look great without some tweaks. The customization process is pretty easy, but it could be better if the elements started off with excellent default styles so fewer tweaks were necessary. Divi has 68 elements or modules out of the box. You can get more elements via Divi's Marketplace, and some of them are free, but many of the available add-ons are going to cost some extra money. The elements are a little dated and, just like Elementor, don't look very good by default. Divi does have a presets feature that means, after some time, you'll be able to apply your own handmade presets to make elements look how you want. A great example of better default elements and styles can be found in Breakdance, where over 145 built-in elements all look great out of the box, and because of global styles, you can get them on brand in just a few clicks. Let's take a look at using WooCommerce with Elementor versus Divi. Elementor comes with 25 WooCommerce elements, and they only cover the most basic aspects of your store. Due to Elementor's lack of global styling as a fundamental focus, the elements don't look great when you first add them to your site. The products element, which is used for displaying a list of products on your shop page or other archives, only allows a few limited layout options, and you can't remove aspects of the list that you don't want. While the checkout and cart elements do allow you to style these important forms, you can't rearrange the individual areas. Divi comes with 25 WooCommerce elements out of the box. Divi has granular elements for laying out pages like the cart and checkout how you want, rather than locking you into a rigid, predetermined layout. Its product list element gives you the ability to hide elements you don't want, which is a huge bonus for more bespoke shop pages. Also, I should note that in my tests with Divi, even after importing an e-commerce design from their library, the shop page looked pretty bad. If you want to see what a best-in-class WooCommerce integration looks like, Breakdance is a great example. It has 35 WooCommerce elements with great default styles. It uses global styles for WooCommerce, making it easy and fast to customize all aspects of your store. It has a real product loop builder, allowing you to build 100% custom product loops for your shop page and product archives. This is a huge feature that both Elementor and Divi are missing. It supports WooCommerce shop filters, which Divi does not. It has granular cart and checkout elements, giving you super flexible layout options. It also has built-in display conditions for WooCommerce, like cart quantity or total customer spend, 
which Elementor is missing. So let's take a look at not only the cost of Elementor versus Divi on their own, but also what it's gonna cost to add the features they're missing out of the box. If we use the lowest prices in each range, you're looking at a yearly cost of at least $900 to use Elementor and get all of these key features. If you have multiple sites, the price climbs even more. Since some of Divi's offerings have a lifetime deal, you're looking at around $500 per year to fill in most of the feature gaps. Unfortunately, this doesn't include one-time costs for things like better WooCommerce features and more powerful conditions, so it's hard to directly compare to Elementor here. It should be noted that all the features we talked about here that require an extension in Elementor and Divi are included for free in builders like Breakdance. Based on everything we've looked at today, Divi comes out on top overall. That being said, I think if you're looking to let clients loose inside a builder and don't mind spending way more money to fill feature gaps, Elementor may be the better option for you. Choosing either builder, however, requires making some major compromises. If you don't wanna make those compromises and you wanna get more built-in features, pay less overall, get better performance, and experience a modern take on visual site builders, Breakdance is worth a look. So to wrap it up, when we're looking at Elementor versus Divi, Divi is the overall winner. So choose it if you want more bang for your buck. Compared to Divi, Elementor is much more client-friendly, but also far more expensive if you want to add all the missing features back in via extensions. But if you want to avoid the numerous trade-offs and downsides of both Elementor and Divi, it may be time for you to check out a truly modern visual site builder like Breakdance.